Hello everyone, it's Rob Dillon from the Central Region again. So now that we went over um, how we can find out what our breath is and all that, we're going to go on the SSA and I'm going to go sh show you how to sort through this. Um, if you remember correctly, we had figured out that we needed 300, from the previous video, we need 359 part numbers. So now it's our responsibility to figure out what 359 part numbers are we going to bring in. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw a filter on this thing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort this by largest, largest sold. And then lastly, my on-hand quantity, obviously I need to bring in 359 part numbers I don't currently have. So let's go ahead and just sort that. So now it's just giving me a list of only parts I don't have on hand from the uh, SSA list. I need 359 of the 582 that show I don't have on hand. Now, for sake of time, I wanted to just show you all that I actually have a video available already called SSA Achievement um, Excel Training for Parts Manager, where I go through exactly how to sort through all of this um, SSA. If you want to check out that video, uh, just YouTube Rob Dylan Volkswagen, and it'll come right up. There's a lot of detail on that uh, on a training video. That's why I want to point it out before we go any further. So now let's uh, organize this. So what I want to do is I'm just going to sort this by the largest amount of times that I sold these part numbers. And then I want to see just parts I don't have on hand. So let's just click on zero there. And now this is showing just the part numbers I don't have on hand. And this is how many times I sold it. As you can see, if you sold something three, four, or five times, you want to make sure you're stocking that. So now that I know that I need, according to my simulation, 359 part numbers, let's figure out which of these 359 part numbers we're bringing in. So I can see right here, I am going to be bringing in keep going down all of these are available to me that are zero on hand you can see right here 582 part numbers are available to order but I obviously only need 359 so let's go down to 359 And I'm just going to copy this and paste it right here. So there are my 359 part numbers that I've sold um, the most of. So now that that's there, I'm going to go ahead and delete all my other tabs. And now I just have this. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything but the part number. I don't even need the description. And I am just going to go ahead and add one. Double click on that. It'll give me one all across the board. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to file, save as, and I want to save this as a comma delimited CVS file. And you'll see why in a moment. So let's go ahead and save that. Yes. And let's go ahead and close this now. Yes, we're saving it. Yes, it already exists. I don't know why it keeps doing it. Anyhow, so now that that's there, we can go ahead and inside parts on command, if you go to the bottom here, you can see help. Click on help, and there is a section in here that actually shows you Uh, where is it? Import CSV file. And there's a guide I'm going to walk you through this, but I'm just going to do it with a video really quick here. So going into parts availability, see this select file to upload. We're just going to hit browse. And in there, I'm going to go to my temp save. And there's my copy. As soon as I hit check availability, and as you will see, 
now it brought in all those part numbers that are ready for ordering, um, all 359 of them. Uh, that is a very quick way of doing it. And then obviously you would just click on here, select all, and you would place an order. And I would just type up uh, dealer PO, SSA list, or what have you. And uh, that is a quick way of solving your SSA problem immediately. You just don't even have to punch numbers in your DMS. We're just going to import it right to parts on command. And those parts will be here tomorrow. Now, I do want to warn you, don't be impatient if all of a sudden you go to import that and hit check availability and this thinks for probably a good three minutes. Remember, we need to check 358 part numbers or 359 part numbers. So it's going to take a little while. Let the parts on command just spin and think until all the part numbers get brought into the system here. Um, so as soon as you place this order, again, order confirmation, submit it. And as soon as you receipt them in, it will pop your SSA parts breath overnight. Well, once you receive it in, we'll check it, and your breath will then pop up to the, um, the parts breath that's requested. I hope this video is helpful, and best of luck to all of you out there. All right, thanks again for the business. Bye-bye.